Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to ship your tumblers from home. Now if you have a Shopify website or an Etsy shop, you probably know for the most part, if not completely, how to ship your tumblers from home, how to print the shipping labels and all of that. I myself have my Shopify website and it's really, really easy to ship all of my labels all in one place from there. But I just kind of started the Shopify website. I mean, it's been less than a year, so it's pretty recent. So before using my Shopify website to print all of my labels, I was using PirateShip.com. It's completely free to sign up. I'll have a link for them down in the description. There's no monthly fees or anything like that. It's totally free to sign up. You just, of course, pay the shipping costs. Now, when it comes to the box that you're shipping your tumblers in, I have been using free boxes from USPS. Now, you can order these online. Um, if you go to USPS, you can find free shipping supplies, and they ship them to you completely free, like you don't pay a dime. So I tend to stock up on those because I don't feel like I'm quite there yet to budget in buying like um decorated boxes or boxes that don't you know have usps all over them so for now these are the boxes i use um a goal for 2022 is to be able to have that in the budget to um order boxes with my logo on them or something so i'm not going to be actually packing somebody's order i'm going to be using a tumbler that i've made oh my gosh like a year ago or more and um it, I, f I feel like it was for somebody, but nobody ever came and picked it up, and I forget who it was for. Might have been somebody in the family or something. I'm not sure, but it is this tumbler here. So I'm going to pretend I am packing this to be shipped off and show y'all how to do it. So of course, you're going to need some shipping tape, and I get this from Dollar General. This is not the one that I have um, in my building where I do all of my shipping, because it's not this building I'm in now. I just have this in here just I don't really know why I just do so I'm just folding the bottom of the box getting it closed okay so when it comes to packaging all of my tumblers that I ship out I like to wrap them up and then put them in the box that they came in when I had them blank so this is a Maker Flow box. I don't know. I mean, maybe I got this from Maker Flow. It's been so long I can't remember. I probably did. So I am going to use this box to put inside of this box. But first, I am going to use this tissue paper that I got from Family Dollar. And you can get this for a dollar for like the entire pack. So I like to take a piece and fold it in half and stick it down in the box like so and then set the box off to the side now i'm going to take another piece and i don't really try to coordinate colors or anything like that but i'm going to take another piece and wrap it up like a burrito and then take the piece that's sticking up through here and shove it down inside of the tumbler and then put the lid on and then these plastic sleeves also come usually with every tumbler from any company. So I will then take that and put it over the tumbler. And then put the tumbler back in the original box. And so that part's done. Now you can put it inside the box. And of course the box is way too big. But I like to use this packing paper that I get from Dollar General. And I'll just tear that off. And I like to cushion all four corners. So now all four sides are protected so you know it doesn't really move around and then you can put a piece over top of it too if you'd like and then at this point normally I would have a packing slip which is not so much a receipt but it does have you know a picture of what you ordered and your name and your address and everything I would put that right on top and I would put the straw in there as well so now let's get this box taped up So now it's time to go to PirateShip.com and sort out the shipping. So once you get to PirateShip.com, there is a create a free account option. And that's just your basic, you know, name, address, payment method, stuff like that. I have an account, so I'm going to hit login and create a shipping label. 
and then you just start adding the name and address of the person you are shipping it to. So I don't want to put anybody's you know, actual name and stuff, of course. So let's just go with Courtney's Customs at 123 Tumblr Lane. And there's actually a real Tumblr road, which it looks like it's in England. Um, I do not ship internationally at the moment, but let's just, let's do that and pretend. Let's move on. Scrolling down, you see the area that you put the dimensions of your box in, um, of course, the length, width, and height, and how much it weighs. So let's go back to our box and measure it and get the correct dimensions. All right, so the easiest way to measure your box is just to use a tape measure, of course, and you want to do the length, the width, and the height. So the length is about 11, the width is about eight and a half, and the height of the box is roughly five and a half. So 11 by eight and a half, by five and a half. Now when it comes to weighing the tumbler, this is a Greater Goods brand kitchen scale that I got from Amazon. I've had it for a really, really long time and it works really, really well. So you wanna turn it on, make sure it's flat level. It'll say zero, there's a pounds and an ounces part on it. Put your box on there, put your hands off of it. Now this is reading one pound and 6.7 ounces. So let's remember that, turn it off. And let's get back to pirateship.com. So now we want to put in the dimension. So 11 by 8.5 by 5.5. And it was 1 pound and 6.7 ounces. Then scroll down and click on get rates. And then it will show you so many different options you can choose from. You can click on that drop down menu and it's going to show you different carriers like USPS, UPS. It's also going to show you like how long it will take to get there. Um, one to three days, two to eight days overnight, all of the prices. So pretty much it's up to you on what to choose. Once you choose a shipping method, you'll click on buy label, which I am not actually going to click on that because it will charge me $8 and I don't want to do that. Um, but once you click on buy label, it will come up on your screen a picture of the shipping label. It looks like a real shipping label. And then you just hit the print button, make sure you're connected to your printer and it'll print that off for you. Once you print out the shipping label, this is what it looks like if you print it out just from your computer onto a regular laser or inkjet printer. If I ship anything from here, this is how I do it with the little scale, and I print it out from just my same printer that I print my water slides out with. Um, and then you will want to, of course, cut it out, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect at all. But when I am down at the building that I do all of my shipping from, for like my blank tumblers and vinyl and stuff like that, um, I have a thermal laser uh, printer that I use for my labels. And I will put a link for it down in the description if anybody wants to check it out. And it literally shoots out the label so fast and then you peel it off like a sticker and just put it down on the box. Now this one, of course, is just printed from your printer. So I go in with the same tape that I used to tape up the box. And I just completely pretty much like waterproof that label like so. And now at this point, it's ready to put in your mailbox or take it to the post office or whatever you want to do. And that is it. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. I know it's not your regular, like, exciting, glittery, pretty tutorial, but you know, this is stuff that you need to know too. So if you were trying to find an easy way to ship your tumblers from home, now you can. And I also have found that if you ship it from Pirate Ship or from your like Shopify website, you get such a big discount. I have taken a tiny little, I think it was like a keychain or car coasters or something. And I took it to the post office one day while I was out because I forgot to ship it here. And it was like 10 or $11 or something to ship it. And I know if I did it here, I could have shipped it for like four or five bucks. 
So I love Pirate Ship. I'm not like affiliated with them in any way. I don't think they have affiliate links. <laughs> so it's just going to be a regular link down in the description. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I feel it's very helpful. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, Happiness is an attitude. We either make ourselves miserable or happy and strong. The amount of work is the same. That was said by Francesca Reigler. That is all I have for y'all today. I really hope this was helpful for a lot of y'all. And if you have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!